Hi, my name is Tamsin Prunster. I work at Brahms as an endorsed midwife. Um, I've been here for nearly 17 years, which is a long time. Um, and my client base is, um, yeah, 99% Aboriginal um, women that are pregnant. And sometimes people looking for advice before they become pregnant. And we see the girls after with their babies as well um, for postnatal checks. Tamsin, what does RHD care during pregnancy involve? So RHD, um, rheumatic heart care in pregnancy, I suppose is similar to the normal care. Uh, but we do do more echocardiograms and we do try and ensure that the long-acting bicillin is um, maintained right throughout the pregnancy. Um, there's a lot of strain on the heart when you're pregnant, you make more blood um, and, and if you have extra um, little uh, hurdles such as anemia, the heart won't work um, harder to get you know, enough oxygen around the body so we like to have um, good amounts of um, iron on board and just decrease any stress on the heart and protect the heart through the long acting bicillins and um, if there's signs of heart failure then we'll do extra echocardiograms but usually women get an uh, echocardiogram at the beginning of their pregnancy and in the third trimester. They also get to see the physician doctors who are very um, good at giving us a plan um, they also get to see the cardiologists um, if they have significant regurgitation or are problems with their heart. Um, and sometimes some of the ladies are asked to deliver down in Perth for their safety, just in case there's some heart failure and they need to have a valve replacement, which sometimes can happen um, following um, delivery. And so I think the most Probably the most one of the important things is just to listen to every person's heart when they become pregnant. Um, I think sometimes that's missed in a normal checkup, not always, but um, just to check up undiagnosed if they have a little murmur. We can easily get an um, echocardiogram um, done and just make sure it's not undiagnosed rheumatic heart. Um, and yeah, so we optimize just to make sure the heart doesn't have to work hard. Um, and we, we assess their activity levels, um, how they're feeling about their long acting bicillin. Sometimes they haven't had it for a long time and this is a chance we can get them back on board to their, to their four weekly um, injections and just um, sort of like do heaps of education how good it is and how beneficial it is and, pr and protective. Um, and I think that's about it during the pregnancy. Yeah, so it's just close monitoring um, and just looking signs for heart, heart failure and just being aware that, um, you know, um, any increased swelling on your on the bottom of the legs, increased shortness of breath um, and ability to walk to the shops, um, you know, can be a sign that things aren't, that the heart might not be coping with the pregnancy. Yep. So Tamsin, why is this type of care so important? I think so important because life for the mother is precious. And if it's her, you know, without the mother uh, being healthy um, and to be at her best, um, then it does affect little Bubba. Um, you know, if mum's very tired and the heart, um, you know, she can't do much when her heart is affected. Um, down the track for her long lifespan, you know, it's just so, so important that we, we get this treatment right and that she's, um, doesn't become more affected with her rheumatic heart um, disease, so her heart's protected. So she's there for her kids, um, you know, throughout her life, and she her life isn't shortened by the by the disease. Um, and I suppose pregnancy is a is an event in a woman's life. If she has got rheumatic heart disease, that can really affect her. The heart, you know, um, needs to be monitored, and we need to make sure that we pick up early and. Um, preempt any problems if, the, if she is going into heart failure. Why is it important for women to continue their medicines and needles during pregnancy? Uh, so medicines, um, the long acting bicillin, protects the heart valves. So any um, infection that becomes into the body, the heart valves are going to be protected and no further damage is going to be done. Um, medicines such as um, your folic acid and your iron tablets, um, you know, uh, 
really, really good for baby's development, but also just to maintain the, the amount of um, red blood cells and um, what we call hemoglobin, so the heart doesn't have to work hard um, throughout the pregnancy. Some ladies have to um, take some furizamide if they're getting a little bit um, of uh, heart failure and they um, uh, they just need a little bit of fluid off, but that's very rare. Um, but yeah, we do encourage um, women to get the needles every four weeks, so the heart's protected and um, we can have the best outcome at the end of the pregnancy when they're when they're delivering and when the, the heart's at most at risk of um, you know uh, deteriorating, going into cardiac failure. What advice would you give to young girls with rheumatic heart disease who want to start a family when they're older? I think we would um, just reassure them that we, if they do look after their heart, that they can have a, a, a pregnancy, you know, um, and have the heart protected as much as we can. Um, my advice was, would be to get some pre-pregnancy um, counselling. So maybe go and see your doctor or your health worker and um, just discuss that you're thinking about getting pregnant. Um, then we can just offer some advice such as starting folic acid like three months before you get pregnant, not drinking, not smoking, <laughs> um, and making yourself as healthy as you can before even trying to conceive. We could get all, their, all your immunizations up to date and, um, and give the best chance of the most healthiest pregnancy. Um, yeah, but basically we, um, just um, helping a, a young girl just say, um, you know, pregnancy is quite um, demanding on your heart and if you have your long acting injections and look after your body um, iron wise and protect from viruses such as having your flu vax and um, all your um, needles, you know, um, uh, up to date, it gives you the best protection for pregnancy.